An empty field is a nice place to play. Right, Jim. But what's happening here? What are these men doing? These men are surveyors. They are dividing this large field into smaller lots, lots for new houses. The boys can watch the surveyors from the top of this little hill. Wooden stakes mark the corners of each new lot. Soon other men with heavy equipment begin to level the ground and prepare it for building. In a few months, there will be houses here and families moving in. The Johnson family will be moving into one of the new houses. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson are discussing the plans for their new home now with the builder. Pam and Jerry wonder what their new house will be like. The Johnsons are pleased. There will be plenty of room in the new house for everyone. An architect planned the new houses and made these drawings to show what they will look like when they are finished. This drawing shows the size and location of the rooms. Construction plans show exactly how the new house is to be built. The superintendent sees that the architect's plans are followed carefully. He makes sure that all of the work is done well and finished on time. The carpenters are building forms for the foundation. Forms will hold wet concrete in place until it dries and turns hard. Concrete is delivered in big trucks like this one. Concrete is made by mixing gravel, sand, cement, and water. They are mixed in the big tank on the back of the truck. The concrete is wet now, and it can be poured into the forms almost like water. But in a few days, it will be dry and hard as stone. The concrete foundation will be sturdy and strong, strong enough to support the entire house. Concrete is also used for garage floors, driveways, and sidewalks. This concrete must be made smooth enough to walk on. When the foundation is dry, the forms are removed, and the plumbers begin putting in the pipes that are needed. These large pipes are drain pipes. The plumbers are melting lead to seal the joints. When two pipes are connected, they must be sealed carefully so that they don't leak. Molten lead poured in the joint. When it cools and turns hard again, it makes a strong waterproof seal. When the drain pipes are all in place, the carpenters can begin work on the floor of the new house. These heavy boards are called floor joists. They have to be strong enough to support the floor of the whole house. The plumbers come back now to put in other pipes. These are water pipes. They too must be sealed so they won't leak. These large pipes are furnace pipes. They will carry warm air from the furnace to every room in the house. Furnace pipes are wrapped with insulation. The insulation will help keep the heat inside the pipe until it gets to the room where it is needed. When all of the pipes are in place, the carpenters cover the floor joist with sheets of heavy plywood. Or because it will be under the floors we walk on. Other carpenters build the frames for the walls boards they use are called studs. The studs are nailed together to make the frame, then it is raised into place and nailed securely.
the carpenters must make a frame for every wall in the house. This is a big job, and it takes a lot of lumber. With many carpenters working, the frames are built quickly and carried into place. Most of the studs they use are cut to length at a lumber yard. But around doors and windows, special pieces must be cut to fit. The framing for the roof is made another way. This is a truss, one of many that will support the roof. Each truss is a large triangle. Braces divide them into smaller triangles, making them strong and rigid. In areas where there is heavy snow, even stronger, steeper roofs are built. When the trusses are covered with sheathing, it begins to look like a roof, but a roof like this wouldn't help much in the rain, would it? Here comes a load of shakes and roofing paper to finish the roof. The superintendent sees that the materials needed arrive on time. This unusual truck lifts the whole load right up to the roof. Roofers cover the sheathing with heavy waterproof paper, then with the wooden shakes. The roofers work quickly, nailing the shakes across the roof. One Sunday afternoon, Mr. Johnson brings the family to visit the new house. They see how much work has been done already. Everyone likes the new house, but Jerry and Pam wonder if there will be other children in the neighborhood to play with. The next day, the bricklayers are busy building the fireplace and chimney. The bricks are held together with mortar, a mixture of sand, cement, fire clay, and water. In another part of the house, a carpenter is building the stairway that leads to the second floor. This work must be done with great care because the stairway will be seen by everyone when the house is finished. In front of the house, other carpenters are covering the outside walls, first with waterproof paper, then with siding. Other outside walls are covered with stucco. The wire mesh helps the wet stucco stick to the wall. The last coat of stucco is colored to make the outside walls bright and pretty. An electrician runs insulated cable through the walls. Wires inside the cable will carry electricity to every room in the house. When the wiring is finished, the walls and ceiling are covered with sheet rock. This material can be nailed in place quickly, and it can be cut easily to fit around doors and windows. Most of the rooms will have hardwood floors. Narrow strips of wood are cut and carefully fitted together. This man uses a nailing machine to nail the flooring in place. Soon the painters are at work, inside and out. This painter stands on a scaffold to reach high places. The paint will protect the wood and make the whole house bright and cheerful looking. The Johnson's house is finished now, and soon company will be coming to visit. The carpenters have put up the cupboards and counters. The painters have finished their work and the electrician has connected the range and oven. Remember the stairway? How different the room looks now.
There will be work for the whole family, keeping their new house as bright and pretty as it is today. But right now, Jerry thinks the cookies are more important. Pam likes the new house and the new neighborhood. And both children are making new friends. The empty field is gone, but there's a park just around the corner. It's a fine place to play, and a good place for Jerry to get to know his new neighbors. 